We are going to get to those after we talk, talk about our home run props. And our first home run prop today, I never know which order they're going to come up. So it's always exciting. But I like what we got on the board. I think we got three lefties on the board today. And our first one's over here at B-Dub. He's hoping this guy hits a home run. It's getting close to Thanksgiving time at the base winter household. So we need to make sure the Phillies start doing well, right, B-Dub? Oh, yeah, because I've been on the Braves all year, and now it looks like I'm going to the Dodgers. I don't know if I'm going to be welcome here at the house that I'm doing doing the show from. Uh, I just got to keep, keep it on the down low, I guess. But to, as far as for me, it was tougher today to find value on the card with uh, with the home run props. But I the first thing I do when I do this is I look at last 365 days home run percentage uh, for the pit for a pitcher, and so then I kind of try to pick the teams off of that. And if you look at Verlander, uh, and, and this is this is kind of a I don't know, he doesn't have much of a body of work, but he's got something at least in the last 365 days 3.7 percent home runs per plate appearance. But I think logically and 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 betting over the years with Verlander, that could be an Achilles heel, especially the last couple of years of give, giving that long ball up. But look, and so I said, well, I'm going to go with I'm going to see who the Phillies got here. Uh, on on this uh, versus, uh, I guess split split splitedness. Kyle, is that a word? Uh, I don't but think you're so. you're at home versus <laughs> versus you're at home versus right-handed handed pitching. And uh, last 365 days, Harper's <laughs> had 50 games where this has happened. He's hit a home run in 17 of them. The price should be about 257. I think we get a little bit of a bump because he's he's facing Verlander. And uh, so I thought that this was a, on a tight card was just probably the best option uh, for a home run prop, Kyle. Like that, Bryce Harper at plus 250. Let's head to our next guy on a dinger Tuesday here, and we'll get a price at the end when we have them all parlayed up. This is my guy, and I just love the price I'm getting for Gunnar Henderson today. I have a price at plus 300. Uh, I'm getting him at plus 450. When you look at his righty-lefty splits, his OPS over two seasons, 25 points higher against righties than it is against lefties. When you flip that over to Jack Flaherty, also lefties 10 points higher than our righties, both over 740. We talked about the weather. We expect some runs. I love this Gunnar Henderson play, and I think I'm getting a great price at plus 450. So that's my dinger pick of the day. And let's head to Corby's. And you know what? We got a surprise today. It's not Bobby Witt Jr., another guy. I think you're getting a great price because they're facing that lefty. Yeah, I had Bobby Witt up uh, and decided everyone knew that was coming. So listen, you can go ahead and submit my Bobby Witt into this every single Tuesday if you want to. So we're going to change it up a little. We're going to go Juan Soto three and a half to one. Um, this is like mm-hmm. a correlation to like, let, let's just look at everyone else on this team's home run. Uh, and do we think that they're a better home run hitter than Juan Soto? You see Aaron Judge plus 150. Uh, yeah. You see Yon Carlos Carlos Stanton is basically two and a half to one. I don't think Juan Soto's that much worse of a power hitter than these two. Uh, it tells me the market thinks that Patrick Corbin is going to get lit up. I agree. It took the over. So give me Juan Soto three and a half to one. I think it's the best price on the Yankees to hit a home run. I do agree with Gunnar Henderson. At th- I, I think honestly, we had three really good home runs today. Uh, put those in the mixer with a Bobby Witt, of course. And I bet you're getting a pretty good price on a home, a home run parlay. Yeah, B dub. So we've got uh, we've got three lefties: Soto, Harper, and Henderson. Three of the best lefties in all of baseball. Uh, we put those in the mixture. Do you got a price for us? Seven, 78 to one. I, I, I think it's a good opportunity here. I, I just bet. I just, I just clicked the button there guys. Yeah. I, I love the prices. And I want to, our guy Sean from Australia says random question. Are the A's still moving from Oakland by year's end wanting to catch some games there? Hopefully when I come over in a couple of months, yes, they are going to be in Sacramento, but if you get over here from Australia and you're in Oakland, let the show know. Because we've been wanting to meet up that's really close to me. I might make a trip down, especially if we can get a Saturday A's game and then a Sunday 49ers game. I would love that. Uh, so let the show know because maybe a meet up out in Oakland. We do it old school ghetto style in Oakland. Like we hit the streets. You know what I mean? The MLB show hitting the streets time. of Oakland. What do we think? Live version of Too Short there for, for the rap. Oh, yeah. We went to the bar and had a drink together. It was one of the coolest moments of my life. Again, allegedly. Allegedly that happened. I jumped over a railing and said, hey, player. I'm a player for life. And then uh, me and Too Short we got to hang out while I was uh, inebriated, if you will. Those are our home run props for Dinger Tuesday. Don't forget to get your Dinger plays. And once you pick them, head over to betustv.com slash join. Let's 